welcome back viewers in this uh, video lecture we will work we will start work uh, on the cart so if someone clicks uh, add to cart uh, you can see below the products so they uh, can add this product to their cart and we can show them or here total items and total price and things like that and we can also hold uh, the products the added products which are added to the cart we can save them we can hold them inside a table so when they order so we can then delete the products from the temporary table so that's something we are go going to do in this video but uh, before that here you can see the prices are there the amount but we have not written uh, the price text over here so we need to first write that over here we forgot this is the area the function of uh, get pro so inside that we have displayed the details so we can just simply write price here price and semicolon and after that control is to save now come here refresh the page and you will see price 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 to every product below every product now we need to start work or the cart so basically uh, first of all we need to create a table for this cart so we can save the added product to that when someone clicks this add to cart button so here is our uh, database e-commerce inside that we have three tables already and one more we are going to create which name will be cart and we'll just add three columns to this table and we'll just click go and after that we need to add some names to them the first name will be p underscore id means product id we'll save the product id when someone added to cart and the second one will be IP underscore add I mean IP address so we need to save actually there uh, we need to detect the IP address of the customer in order to show them the exact details of their products of their ordered products so IP address is very necessary in this case and the uh, third thing will be QTY QTY mean the quantity if someone has updated their uh, product and has added more quantity so we can save them in this table and later on we can uh, ship this data into another I mean to another table that will be customer orders table we will create that later on here uh, this will be integer the first one and the second one will be watcher and the first one value will be 10 and the second one be 255 and the third will be integer and value 10 so no auto increment and uh, no primary key ATC this is uh, the same Sim so simple and just click save to save this table the table has been created you can see over here cart when you click that so you can see the structure of this table anyways now there is no data so when someone will click this add to cart so data will come there now here is a very important question that how we can show every person uh, the, uh, you know their shopping cart if someone has added some products one product two product or three products so how can we show them because we might have this is this will be a, 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 a store which can be uh, uh, visit, visited from anywhere in the world I mean from uh, from USA from UK from Asia from Africa from anywhere so if there are three customers visiting and browsing this store and three of them has one person has added uh, this product uh, two people has uh, have added this product and you know different people have different products but there might be same product if a person can add this product so another person can also add this product to cart so how can we then show every person the exact details of their products or here how can we display them so for that purpose we can use the IP address so we will detect their IP address and then we will show them uh, first of all we will save their uh, IP address inside this cart table with the product ID IP address and the quantity so we will then say uh, we will then show uh, <coughs> the details over here so we will say that get from that table where IP address is equal to this one which we have uh, got already so that is the kind of thing we are doing because we cannot uh, target the product ID or here because a single product uh, might be added by different people at a time at the same at the same time so therefore we are uh, hopeless there 
and we can only use uh, IP address so IP addresses are mostly different than one another so therefore first of all uh, we need to go to the functions page yes we have the function we are right now in the function page and uh, in the first place I will create after the connection I will create one more uh, function function its name will be cart very simple cart and inside the two curly brackets of the function I will say something I will write something over here for example I will write if a set if a set uh, dollar underscore get and eight cart we need to check out what we have written there uh, get pro yes get pro uh, 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 uh. okay this we can change this one pro id you can change eight underscore cart we can change this name that was also okay pro id was also okay but we need to add a relevant name so this is eight underscore cart now we have changed this get variable or url variable which is having this pro id as a value so eight underscore cart is now the variable so we are saying now if uh, okay we are saying if uh, if a set get eight underscore cart then inside the curly brackets oh we have already added curly bracket so first of all we will say uh, you know first of all we need to uh, add a function a script that detects the user IP address which we can also write here but you can also simply uh, go to Google and uh, write user IP address PHP court something like this you can write in Google how to get client IP address and how to this and how to that so you can find many uh, I mean scripts are there and there will be a simple script which you can add to your yes you can simply add this to your script or your uh, file I have just copied that and I will just post it here this is saying this is also a function get IP get IP and it is saying that server this is a default you know in PHP function uh, which they have saved inside a local variable IP they say that uh, server remote underscore address means the address and if the person is using some kind of uh, proxy etc so in that case also there will be a I mean will return a, a proxy I mean a, an IP address so we will use this get IP function to get the user IP address very simple you can we can display this as well over here and the index page simply we can say over here mm -hmm 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 -hmm. here in this place we can simply say php uh, get ip this is the function control is to save once again go and check yes this is ok so we have just called it here I have saved it now go to your shop refresh it and uh, this is infected in a file then functions 232 232 we have I think notes we have done some mistake over here 232 okay here is the problem I have noted it uh, if it's set second scurly bracket control is to save now come over here again refresh the page so 
you cannot see the IP address over here because we have not echoed it we will make it a variable IP is equal to that function and we will echo it control s to save now refresh the page and you can see over here just observe over here the IP address is 1 this is because we are using the local host and local host usually has only the IP address as 1 one because we are using one computer with this local host so there is only one IP but this is getting the IP address that is our success that means our this script is working properly so when we will upload this project to online web server there will be the exact IP the person is using with the internet service provider so that's okay we have added this uh, script very simple function for getting the IP address for detecting uh, de sorry detecting the IP address of the customer of the user because this will automatically detect the uh, user IP whenever they will visit our website it will give us the IP address we can use that IP address in order to identify different users now we will come back again to our function cart so we have created the function cart inside that function we have written that if a set get 8 cart means if someone has clicked this 8 cart button so what should be done which is bringing a specific product ID which is getting that ID so we are saying simply that uh, first of all save the pro underscore ID is equal to dollar underscore get say get that ID from the pro underscore ID sorry from 8 underscore cart using the PHP get method get the 8 underscore cart which has a value which might be 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatsoever get that and pass it to this local variable now we will say uh, very simply we will say check product check underscore pro it will be equal to we will just write a query a MySQL query to check whether this product was already added by the user by the customer to their cart or not because we cannot add multiple uh, I mean uh, duplications if someone has added this product once so he she cannot add this to cart again because we cannot uh, how can we receive multiple I mean duplicate products so one products will be there therefore we are validating it we are saying get that product ID now check product first select all uh, select all from cart where IP underscore address is equal to now we need to actually first of all create a variable IP is equal to that function which is above get IP actually we have now saved this function get IP into a local variable IP which will work yes of course so we said if IP address is equal to this IP which is inside the local variable and P underscore ID is equal to this one pro ID we have double checked we, we have uh, checked uh, both of the things I mean the IP address and also the product ID if this is there this is the product ID which is coming like a person ha is clicking uh, the A to cart button so we are checking if check out the cart table uh, uh, if, if there is IP address and also the product this one then do nothing we will just simply first of all we also need to uh, make the connection you are able uh, connection MySQL connection variable as global so it will work inside this function and we have the connection above the page connection MySQL I connect localhost root e-commerce or etc okay now we will run MySQL I underscore MySQL I underscore sorry we will say run underscore check is equal to mysql i underscore query and in here we will say connection and check pro variable is a reference 
check underscore pro that's it now we have executed the query and the next thing is that we will use if statement if okay if mysqli underscore num underscore rows mean number of rows of this query run underscore check is greater than zero then we'll simply say echo but nothing just simply page will be refreshed but nothing will happen this is we have done simply uh, if there is more than zero products mean more than zero means obviously there will be one product or two products or whatsoever uh, only one product will be there so therefore we are saying that if uh, mysql i num underscore rows run check this query that we have already executed uh, has records inside the database inside the table greater than zero then echo and nothing do nothing an else condition if that is not true the if state it statement is not true I mean this one then we can simply insert that product into the card table we'll simply say insert pro is equal to so we will write query insert into cart uh, the field names will be I mean something like uh, p underscore id and ip underscore address and values values yeah of course values which are coming basically value will be PID and IP address yes we have that IP address this is the IP address that we already have when the person has visited our website so we have got their IP and we have just saved that in this local variable which is equal to this function and the function has the IP address already and this is the product ID that he has clicked he she has clicked so we are just inserting them to our card table so we can have them there so now I will just uh, run underscore pro is equal to mysql i underscore kivri and connection is the first parameter and the second parameter will be insert underscore pro that's it and now I will just echo and we'll write some kind of JavaScript JavaScript start JavaScript close I will replace the page window dot open and we'll just inside the two parentheses I will put single quotes and then we'll write self over here so this will be a self window and I will just uh, go back to the index.php that's it very simple we'll replace the page and we'll go back we'll take the person back to our index.php page so I hope it was very easy we have just created the function cart and inside that function we have used a if a set condition for the add to cart button and if the person has already added that to cart so we cannot insert that product into our cart table but if that is not the case we can then simply insert that product into our I mean our table of cart we already created that's it replace the page and now we'll click this one it has 1200 price we'll just click this product so we'll go to browse our table cart and there is no data unfortunately but uh, we'll check out what is the problem basically sorry we have not actually called the cart in this page we need to actually call this so where it should work because that is inside the functions folder functions page we will add this card to this this area 
below the content main content uh, div tag cart and that's it this is invisible just we need to use it on the page where it should work and we want it to work on that page and that is index.php so we have called now it now very simply we can go back and we can refresh the page and I will just click this 900 is the price of this something camera I'll just click it and now we need to go to this card table browse and you can see the product ID is 0 and the IP address is 1 and quantity is 0 but why the product ID is 0 I don't understand that it should be not it should not be 0 uh, if I set uh, dollar underscore get pro ID at cart PID PID oh sorry pro ID this is pro ID not PID this is pro ID because we have saved it here inside the pro ID not the PID PID was basically the name inside the table so we did a mistake here it was a spelling mistake in this variable now we have corrected that very simply come back to our shop refresh it now I will add this 400 it has 400 price and its ID is 1 but uh, we can add this as well this ID is 6 its product ID is 6 I will just click and go here browse the page you can see this is the second one inside our card table it has the IP address is the same one and the product ID is 6 and it is working very fast and you cannot observe that uh, the page has refreshed or not but it has taken back you to the index page now if I click this again it has a product ID 2 I'll click it so it has just been added to the table you can just see over here it has 2 PID and the IP address is the same because we are using the same computer from localhost and it is ha uh, it has IP address as one it is using one as IP address so if we have added a product for example we added this product already now if we click this so there will be there will nothing will happen you can check out here because we have already added this once so replace this there is no product because this will not this cannot be added again if this is already there inside the card table so we have done two things over here one that uh, adding the products into the card table if someone has uh, is clicking this add to card option and also we are checking if there is the same product is already added by a person or a, uh, by a user so we cannot allow them to add that product again to that folder for which we use this sta uh, you know if statement and also this this uh, if statement basically mysql num rows and we said this is greater than zero then do nothing and do not add this product to our card table in else statement we simply uh, wrote this script this query to add the product into the card table now in next part now uh, when we have uh, the the you know the products in the IP addresses uh, in our in our card table so we can now display them the uh, the number of items over here and also the price we can get from the products table uh, to show here for the people I mean for the customer so each of them can see their own uh, orders uh, I mean the products and their information or this shopping cart bar after we do that then we can go further to create the customers account and things like that stay tuned